Made it to the weekend. Adventurers on the rise. Solving riddles and casting missiles, selling daggers at their eyes. Check your into fortune and glory, and tales of the heart and soul. Finding clues, knocking out some fools, depending on how they roll. It's D and D, yeah, with the epic twist. It's D and D, yeah, with the epic twist. They got the sheets and they got the dice, the treasures of the day. It's D and D, D and D, do 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 with the epic square. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Vitz Patel, and these are the fabulous ethnic squares. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. At first, it's my pleasure to introduce our resident rogue, Iana Ravenoak. Seems like somebody's about to lose an eyeball or several today. The best brewer in this or any land. A shot with their wit as they are with the daggers. It's a master of mayhem. It's Flora Jesse. It's me. I have a camera again. You Huzzah. do. <laughs> it only took like four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we are keeping everything cross that there's no more technical <laughs> issues today. Uh, are you ready for some shenanigans? Oh, let's go. Heck yes. Next up is a tabaxi among cut. Looking to punch, punch, punch their way out of trouble. Let's hope the coin falls in your favor or be prepared to feel their wrath. Wrinkling sprinkle of stardust, a lover coins. It's my favorite part of Wales. It's the amazing Nerf Alice. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Cold. Yes, cold. <laughs> but uh, if good. I may say so, you've been off doing some of the coolest things I've ever seen. So all different kinds of happy for you. It's uh, been a fun week. Yeah. yeah. Heck. <laughs> Yes. Uh, next up, it's time to cast Rage with the Barbarian Total Boris. Grab your greatsword and let's get reckless. Mum enough brains to best any challenge I can throw their way. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, give it up for my hero in a half shell. It's our fountain knowledge. It's a marvellous KDG. Hey, hey, hey. Are you ready for some fun and games today? Let's. Yeah, we good, yeah. Do I'm also it. cold, but not as cold. Okay. <laughs> I've got my hot drink, but I haven't got my, my scarf. In hot second. drink gang. <laughs> Jesse, as we as we're looping around, temperature check for you. Hot, cold. I mean, it's very warm in my flat right now, okay, and I'm pulling go. in my jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. The best part in the business is up next. No creature can best the Elven Adventurer Sky with a song or the cutting words. The Doctor of Who, who's more positive than the sound of a PlayStation trophy popping, hosts the phenomenal locking it down every Thursday on YouTube. It's a ludicrous, brilliant Lucy. Hello. Hey, hey, hey! Coming to us from the darkness today. Yes, yeah, sorry, I cannot be with you visually. No, you're <laughs> no apologies required. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm good, thank you. My temperature check is um, quite, you know, I'm decent. I'm not at my flat, so I'm happy. Yes. <laughs> you're in a building with a heating turn on for once. Yes, oh my God, Shane, we just turn the heating on <laughs> from the background. All right. Sorry, there's a slight audience here in the background. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> Next up, it's our Elven Ranger Pavato. When the challenges arises, he can't solve with his mind. His longbow and twin short swords are more than enough. The tree was about adding a dash of sass to this fine cocktail of companions. It's a wonderful Robin GL. Hello. Hey, hey, Hello. you ready for some shenanigans? Hey. I am. Heck, let's go. Yes, let's get into it. Our uh, Dragonborn Paladin Heartrind, uh, they're off having adventures in the cold today. <laughs> so I will be uh, looking after a Rahul's character, Heartrind. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it if we are ready. Uh, so we'll click over here and then we'll do the thing where we do previously on Dungeons and Dragons, the adventures of the Ethnic Square. So the Ethnic Square started their approach to the Onyx Wall surrounding Hawthorne Stronghold from the south. Their disguises kept prying hours away from them as they soon found themselves in the shadow of the wall. As they plotted the next move, they were called upon by a high-ranking officer of Hawthorne's Horde. Convinced to continue their discussion in private, they were escorted to a nearby watchtower. Sergeant Eldivas grilled the ethnic squares as the party sought to convince them that they were sent on a secret mission by Hawthorne himself to retrieve a weapon of great importance. The Dragonball Paladin Heartrind held his nerves as the party were dismissed and allowed to proceed. They soon spied one of the many strategically placed archways in the wall where armies were granted access to the stronghold. Uh, the enchanted mirror halted their party's progress, but they keenly used an approaching group of soldiers to breach the onyx barriers. Like handily circumventing the puzzle I put in their way, but it's all good. You gotta love a bit of <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love a bit of uh, lateral thinking there. Uh, they found themselves in a courtyard of stone at the foot of the stronghold, an enormous ornate structure designed to serve as a place of worship for the wood. 
got. So as it was established last time and in the previous couple of sessions that Spiron Cawthorn, his kind of deal is that they want to be uh, perceived and worshipped as a god uh, to kind of rule uh, over every single living thing uh, until the ending of time. Uh, so the officers stationed in the courtyard sounded the alarm and several enforcers appeared to lay waste to the ethnic squares. Uh, and then, as typically fashion with the ethnic squares, there's a bit of fighting, some, some murder happened. And then we pick up where we are on episode 20, The Eyes of the Enemy. Okay, we're ready, team. Sure. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, so, Boris withdraws their sword from the head of the fallen Hawthorne Enforcer, and a moment of silence briefly takes over the courtyard. The sky above you shimmers with arcane energy, indicating that the protective spell is still in effect. Uh, so for context, uh, while the onyx wall outside of the stronghold protected uh, protected the, the kind of castle from uh, material uh, projectiles and things like that, there is a spell cast as a dome over the, the whole structure to protect it from anything coming in from above. Uh, the ground is stained with the blood and bodies of your four enforcers and the officer who's stationed under the bandstand. Uh, Ethnic Squares, what would you like to do? Does anybody have paper and a pen so we can drop Sergeant Eldibus in the chip for this? Just blame it all on him. Like, write a note being like, uh, we move forward with the attack, take everybody out, Eldibus. <laughs> <laughs> At Sky, I believe you, you as, a, as an artist, have uh, many pieces of parchment on you and a few quills. Yes, you may borrow. Please, go ahead. Or we just hide the bodies and hope that no one finds them. I mean, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can right go through your in inventory, see if you've got any cleaning supplies. <laughs> Maybe check pockets for like keys or anything. I mean, you haven't looted these bodies yet. If you want to do that, yeah, obviously, I guess yeah. while people are looting, I'm going to write this <laughs> silly <laughs> note to okay. blame Elibus. Uh So, would one of you or a few of you like to roll investigation check, please? Sure. I'll help someone else. Sure. So, I'm whoever's doing it, they can do a, advantage. All right, uh, 24. Okay, great stuff. Uh, yeah, that's an awesome roll. Uh, so you managed to obtain 201 gold pieces from the enforcers. From the officer, you obtain a silver ring with a red ruby gemstone. Ooh. Cool. How much gold was it? 201. I added it. It's like it. Oh, but I keep the ruby ring. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, cool. It's just I've got the party's finances. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, Lolly Fox 12 in the chat. Uh, check. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so suddenly you feel the ground shaking below you with the fountain at the center of the courtyard erupting fiercely. Four wall walls emerge from the fountain and the center statue rises on a column of stone. Under the three bandstands, statues rise from, uh, from the ground, bursting through the stonework. Silence once again falls over the courtyard and you're left to take in your new surroundings. Uh, so as it's been uh, a hot minute since we uh, got together, I've put together a visual representation of what you see. Uh, so we have our party members dotted around the fountain. Uh, the three bandstands, so we have one here, one here, and a smaller one here. So you've got the three statues here and I've just marked them with a die with one on them, a die with two on them, and a die with three on them. Uh, four walls have erupted around the fountain itself, and I've just marked these with a spade, a heart, a diamond, and a club. And then a center column has uh, appeared here, and I've marked that with a star. Uh, I think it's squares. What do you like to do? It looks very pretty, wherever mm -hmm. we are. I mean... Mm -hmm. Can we what asleep? triggered this? I am yeah. <laughs> uh, make, a, make a perception check. Four. Okay, <laughs> you you don't really know. <laughs> Can we hear any other like the sounds of more guards coming? Uh, make think... a perception check. I just did a perception check if it helps. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what was that? A uh, twenty. Okay. Uh, for the moment, you All don't. The eyes. Oh. Okay. Um... And Anna, your uh, kind of sense check that nobody else is hiding in the bushes like around you, that kind of thing. Sweet. Okay. 
So I think I'm maybe going up to the wall. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay. Great. So. Uh, we will say that the statue at the center of the fountain now stands at the top of a stone column, as I mentioned. Take the moment to investigate the column. You notice that there are a number of indentations scattered across the four sides. In total, there are 10 sockets, 10 centimeters. Jesus. Deep. So that is, uh, the obelisk thing that I call here. So that obelisk mm. column is, uh, uh, is a term I'm using interchangeably, correctly or wrongly at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the... Uh, eyes of the statue light up. Uh, so there's a statue at the top of the column that rose with uh, the column itself. The eyes of the statue light up in a brilliant white. It begins to rotate and tracks you around the courtyard. Mm. Uh, so which wall would you like to investigate? Um, Maybe diamond, because I'm quite close to that. Uh, yeah, we can do that. So uh, this wall... Uh, ba -ba -ba this wall curves away from you and features a single hole in the shape of a diamond. Peering into the hole, uh, it's sorry, it's not possible to make out any detail of what's inside. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's possible to make out <laughs> any detail. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and does it look like um, this wall's like just been like mechanically? Yes. Shot up. Okay. Not it. Not it. Maybe just going around looking through all the holes then. Uh, sure. It, like, so, if I notice there's a hole, see if there's one. Yeah, isn't yeah. So the on, the, on the other one, so we've got a spade, we've got a heart, and we've got a club wall. They're all the same. So the, oh, they all say uh, it's possible to look at Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. This puzzle solved itself. <laughs> there, there, there you go. There you go. Uh, um, do, do these holes look like? something's supposed to go into them yeah like, you can you can uh, size it up so like your arm would fit inside of them for example oh so someone oh, put their arm big. in oh no who, who, who wants to lose an arm you can do that yeah. <laughs> uh, is there like a luck check so you can check your luck box. <laughs> <laughs> luckiest person gets to do it i mean you can let's let's all have you roll d20s and say the the short the one with the shortest straw gets to stick their okay. arm in and see what happens i mean i will mechanic. just do it so. oh, okay. oh yeah okay that's right. a lever inside sticking on chartered style uh um, so which uh so anna which uh wall are you sticking uh your arm into so I mean, closest guess, to you I is heart or club let's go with the heart it, it looks like it's got a nice big sure uh Okay. If they're big enough to stick my arm in. I'm yeah, yeah. That's fine. So, as you slide your arm in, you immediately feel it enveloped in slime. Uh, pushing through the ooze, you soon find a collection of spherical orbs. Uh, pulling one of these orbs out, in your slime covered fist, you see an eyeball with a green iris. Oh, my favorite oh. thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this I mean... is the best idea. <laughs> Uh, I let everybody know that I found an eyeball. <laughs> okay. Are these like eyeballs going, that you used to be alive? In the chat. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what was that? Still, the, the eyeballs aren't still like living. They're not still looking, are they? Are they... Uh, no. They're, they're... Okay. Yeah. They're... It... But the, the, the okay. slime itself seems to be some like, optical fluid. So they were probably plucked from some living peoples. Oh, so they are real eyeballs. Yes. They've got, to, they've got a bit of squish to them. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, as you... Do uh, they fit in the... Oh, sorry. No, go for it. I was going to say, do they fit in the... In the indentations? and the, the ten indentations, yeah. On the, on the yeah. main obelisk, so, I was wondering. So, uh, yeah, they fit perfectly into one of the ten indentations. Okay. All right. We got to find a... So, on here, we can see... There's a number of shows scattered across the four sides. In total, there are 10 sockets. <laughs> Specifically sockets. They're yes. eye sockets. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still going to plug sockets. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without a second thought about it. Jess is like, it's okay. I've got an EU adapter. <laughs> Two pin, three pin. I've got it covered. Can I investigate one of the towers or whatever? It's called with the dice. The bandstands. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So, which one would you like to? We've got one, two, or three. I'll do two. So I'm two. To. Okay. Uh, so here you find a statue of a human pirate set in a proud stance with their prosthetic leg upon a barrel. Yes, they do have a peg leg. Uh, you notice that to the left of his eye patch there is a plate on 
his shoulder. Like a dinner plate? <laughs> or like a plate that something can go on. Okay. Uh, do we want to put an eye on the plate? Oh, yeah, I'll, leave, I'll put my <laughs> hand into uh, whichever one I'm closest to uh, and see if that also gets an eyeball. Okay, great. So we've had um, heart. Let's the go. The club. club. I'll go for the club. Okay, yeah. fine. So in the club wall, uh, you too have the same amount of slime in this optical fluid that you're kind of uh, switching your arm around in. As you pull out uh, one of the orbs, you see that your eyeball uh, has a blue iris to it. Okay. What's uh, okay. the first one green? Well, I, I, I'll, I'll call over. I'll say, yeah. What, what colour is the pirate's remaining eye? Uh, stand by. Just shout out to the group. Uh, that you can't see at the moment. So from, from Pavato, uh, all you can see is a, uh, the, the statue itself is made out of onyx and they just seem to have like a, a, a black eye. It doesn't seem to have any okay. color to mm. it. Okay. But one of them does, uh, uh, the, the pirate does have an eye patch on. Can you lift Ayana's the eye patch? It's, it's made out of stone. Ah, uh, it's attached. Yeah. Um. Ayana's going to go around to the remaining holes and just okay, great. stick her so, arm in. So from the, uh, from the diamond wall, mm -hmm. uh, you retrieve eyeballs of brown irises. Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got green from the heart wall. Yep. Uh, from the club wall, we have blue irises, which Boris yep. has retrieved. And then from the spade wall, you retrieve red iris eyeballs. Red. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Green, blue, red, and brown. Yeah. Uh, so going back to here, we've examined this the number two statue and you've mm -hmm. got two left all right i guess we need to look at what the other ones are as well which one first yeah one or three one sure uh so here you find a statue of an elven warrior upon her horse uh, with her sword drawn you notice that on the onyx statue the range is holding a blue at the base of the statue is a spool of crimson thread Okay. The other one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here you find the statue of a gnome crafter sat at a table holding a needle. You notice that on the table sits a small emerald, emerald statue of a parrot. Uh, the the spool of crimson thread, was that something that could be picked up and moved? Yes. Or was it? Oh, okay. Uh, so okay. I guess... The spool of thread needs to go to the gnome. The parrot needs to go to the pirate. Okay. Yeah. So you, you do that and you, uh, we'll say, I know you, you take the, the emerald statue of the parrot. It's, it's fairly heavy, but you do manage to, to move mm -hmm. it across to the, the pirate and you place it upon its shoulder. Does anything happen? Uh, no immediate effect. Okay. Well, you, you do see the, the plate uh, sink slightly. Uh, mm -hmm. So you have some indication that you place the right object in the right location. Nice. nice. All right. Does somebody want right. to, while I'm doing that, move the spool of mm. thread? Yeah. Over to... Sure. Yeah. I'm assuming thread thread it thread the needle. Okay. So yeah, yeah you've done that, and uh, again, nothing terrible has happened, but uh, there's been no uh, there's no other effect either. Okay. So we'll say after that, you all reconvene around the obelisk with the ten sockets. Uh, what you what you've also found from uh, digging around into these walls is that you can retrieve as many eyeballs as you need to. So it's not like it's just one <laughs> per wall. Kind of okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Just, just I love like eyeballs. I love that sticking your hand in the mm. thing was actually what we needed to do. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you know it's an arm sized hole. You got to just stick it, it on yeah. there. You know. <laughs> It was a variation of this where I was like, it... you got to put your eye to it and you lose that eyeball. And I thought, no, that's too, that's too great. <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited supply of there... logs. <laughs> is there like, if I look in the space where the, so there are three bandstands and like the fourth yeah. corner, is there anything that suggests there used to be one there? Uh, or, no. anything, or is it just there so are three? It was only, so if I move one of uh, these things, uh, there were dedicated structures to where yeah. these were going to appear. Yeah, so there's no like ru ruins or correct. Yeah, anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll say to the group like, 
the brown is the only color that hasn't come up does that mean we just need to stick 10 brown eyeballs in it or what i was thinking like i don't know uh uh the sockets on the star one do they go like around it or are they just in one spot oh no they, they go around it so they go around yeah it. okay so what yeah. i was wondering was if like uh the ones mm. like in line with the blue need to be blue the ones in line with the green parrot need to be green the ones in line with yeah. the red guy need to be red and then the brown is on the opposite side where there isn't anything where there's a tree yeah there's a tree <laughs> yeah, <that's> a... <laughs> Um, I think that's a good shout. I mean, yeah, yeah if it, yeah, if we're looking at where the ten sockets are, is it yeah that we can see like north, south, east, west mm -hmm. sockets, or is it specifically jumbled around? Uh, it it is jumbled around, but there are sockets on each of the four sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, should we try that? I mean, yeah, the one the one eyeball that we put in so far. If I test it, can I pull it back out? Like we haven't uh, we haven't yeah. put one in oh, yet. Oh, sorry. No, it, what, oh, we'll say we that you size it. No, oh, I don't think we actually fine. put it in. No, Boris, what we'll say okay. is that you size it up, and it looks like it goes in perfectly. Yeah. Okay. But we'll also be able to pull them out. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, should we should we try that then? Try putting the colors yeah. corresponding yeah. to the side. I mean, I I don't know what else we have really to go off right now. No, no, no. I'll leave it. Okay, so to uh, remind you, statue number three is the gnome uh, who yeah. you've given Crimson yeah. Thread to. Uh, statue number two is the pirate who you've given an emerald parrot to. And statue number one is of the elven warrior. And uh, from the range you can see on her steed, uh, they are blue. It would also... So I think I think we go with um, the first way, but the, the pirate has one eye. The gnome presumably has two eyes, and the other statue mm. have four eyes because it'll be the elf and the horse. Oh, and then the, uh, yeah. Like, that's if a better that's the thing. Yeah, because uh, ten doesn't divide nicely into four, so <laughs> that's true. Uh yeah. Let's okay. So what? One green, four blue, two red, and then one brown. Whatever's left of yeah. yeah. Yeah, one brown for his eye patch, maybe. Yeah, so just when we through those numbers again. Uh what do we say? Four blue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I the gnome has two eyes, right? Yes. Yeah. No eye patches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then what one green for the pirate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we've got three left. Unless the eye of the needle is an eye. Oh yes. Yeah. So three red. Also, the parrot would have eyes. Now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Eyes. okay, so okay might... Hang on. Does that hang work? On. So, yeah. well, let's just mess it out. We've got four for the uh, four blue, and then yeah. parrots have two eyes plus the one on the pirate is three, which is seven. Yeah, and then three, from three the... red yeah. is ten. Yeah. Uh, you're muted, Alice. Maybe don't do anything with the brown. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm yeah. thinking too. All right. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna shuck in four blue. Yeah. Three green and three red. Okay. And I am just gonna squish some brown ones. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. So upon placing the eyes into the obelisk, all your vision goes white. Instantly disorientated, you fight to hold on to your constitution, and we'll say your last meal that you had. Uh, as the next 30 seconds pass, uh, your vision returns to you and you find yourselves looking around to check in on your fellow party members and take in your new surroundings. You've been teleported inside Hawthorne's stronghold. GG team, first time. Do we uh, still uh, have yeah. the eyeballs? Well done, everyone. Uh, so yeah. We still have the extra eyeballs. You do, you do still have the brown eyeballs, which you can do whatever you want with. <laughs> uh, do I, I'm not sure how many of the brown <laughs> eyeballs you took out of the wall, but... Uh, we can leave that to you. <laughs> uh, I have the needle. There you go. Yeah. Have a, Great have stuff. A... Yeah. That uh, was very good. I was just watching it all like, how are they doing this? <laughs> <laughs> same, Lucy. Same. <laughs> uh, okay. So you're in a dimly lit room uh, with a number of long tables with three seats per table. 
all the seats are facing the top of the room where a pedestal stands. Behind this sits a large desk and a chair, both of which have a looming commanding presence in the room. Uh, you're currently alone, and from your first impression, it looks pretty safe. Uh, and we take a long rest. If that's what you want to do. <laughs> no. no. It's up to you. I am I would assume from the level of security so far that there will be some sort of yeah. alert that yeah. we've done the eyeball thing, because that's really yeah, weird. Like, maybe I... It, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it I mean, could do with some health, but but Harrein suggests. Well, you know, I'm I'm on what is he on? Uh, he's on uh, thirty out of one, two, four, and can do uh, with a long rest. We can yes. we can set up some people to uh -huh. watch order, and right. we need what so this is eight a hours safe space. <laughs> From the looks of it, it seems like a oh, safe space. I think I hear Resident Evil no. music. <laughs> yeah. music yeah. Yeah. Safe room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that Ayana's just Doom. going to walk Doom. around the room, Doom. make sure there's no Doom. like hidden okay. people, Doom. hidden creatures. I definitely need to rest. Uh, yeah, so there's no there's no hidden uh, creatures within the room itself, and uh, yeah. the door uh, there's there's one set of double doors that leads into the room. From what you can see. Uh, they're all from what you can detect. There's uh, nobody outside of this door. All right. all right. I guess we. I mean, I guess people really want to do a long rest. We can barricade these doors if it's one set of doors in and out. <laughs> yeah. Or we're what pushing short, through with a short rest. Okay. And how many, what people's hit dice are, or do people need like spells and things as well? If I, I needed some spells. Some... I, I think yeah. we exhausted all of your level two spells last yes. time out. <sighs> And I was starting to get out of 63 health. I mean, if we can get away with it, I feel like we're getting to some difficult challenges, so maybe yeah. we should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a, another visual representation of the visual aid, uh, these are your current surroundings. He quickly deletes some enemies off the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. But uh, yeah, like as you can see... I'd love to rest here. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could always try, and then if we're not yeah. successful, not yeah. successful. I mean, yeah. I personally am totally fine. <laughs> like, I have full hit points. So, like, I can definitely take first watch or whatever if that's what you guys want to do. So I can post up by the door. Do I need to sleep? Yeah, I'm also pretty fine. I mean, sleeping would mean we all mm. get to level up. Yeah. But... <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if, we, if, we're, if we're long resting, I think... Assuming we successfully long rest, I think it's fair to assume that like we'd all take enough of a break from watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah, it makes sense to like have an order because if we get interrupted really early, then the first yeah. people won't. And we can all like sleep mm -hmm. in the back of the room. Yeah, so I don't want to take from the door. first or second watch. Okay. Um. So we're gonna try for a long rest. Is that? Yeah, because yeah. I do That's need good. to recover a lot of my things. Okay. Uh, cool. So I will engage a long rest for Heartrun if you want to do the same. Uh, I, As you alluded to, uh, you may have the chance to level up, and I'll give you a second to do that. Uh, for Heartrun, uh, I will... I, I'm so quick, like, I, I want to press the button, but I don't want to press the button because like, I'm like, what's the bet? Like, two hours in, we get interrupted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Thankfully. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Okay, so Heartrun has, uh, now that he's 16th level, uh, 16th level Paladin, on this level, uh, he has the ability to choose two uh, ability scores. I will let Rahul do that uh, in the meantime. I don't want to pick for him and then not be able to adjust on the fly. However, his new maximum uh, hit point score is 132. So, uh, friends, don't forget, if you click on the anvil symbol to go into your uh, character builder thing, uh, next to level, you should have a blue exclamation mark. If you then choose what the next level down is, so it should be 16 or, or thereabouts, then it will automatically calculate your new max hit points. And let me know if you need thank you time. i needed that uh, i needed that handy tutorial on no no it's all good <laughs> oh, mr matt 92 thank you so much for the kind words uh 
How much XP did we earn last time? Uh, it was, I think, 7,000 something like that. Uh, uh, 7,900. There you go, 7, that sounds right. Thank you. I, I've got it written down in front I think, of me. I think <laughs> I remember to add that to yours and to Alice's. Oh, oh okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yes, nice. so that's all good. So Heartrind is back up to full strength. Uh, all of their spell slots have been restored and all that good stuff. Uh, all of his hit dice, so any short rest you may want to, wish to take, they've all been restored as well. And uh, they are good to go. Sweet. Cool. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. So, who's taking who's taking first watch? Uh, I am, I will. Okay, can you make a perception check, please? Uh, 18. Okay, great. So, during your watch, uh, nothing bad happens. And uh, you're able to uh, to read on whatever you want or, or or anything like that, but nothing else. Who is taking second watch? I'll go second. Oh, okay. Can, can you make a perception check, please? Seventeen. Okay. Uh, nothing else seems to happen on your watch. Uh, who's taking third and final watch? I can take. Third I can. Watch. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, do, I didn't have yeah, yeah. I didn't have spell swords, but I don't mind. Yeah, I didn't have spell okay. swords or anything, so I'll do it. Okay, we'll okay, say right. you took yeah. the the watch together. Uh, so okay. could you uh, roll perception checks, please? Yeah. Twenty-two. Nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Boris, you notice that the uh, that it's getting lighter in the room, as if the uh, the sun is uh, rising and it's the start of a new day. Uh, Pavata, what did you roll? Uh, 22. Ooh, okay. Good stuff. So, uh, you, my friend, hear heavy oh, footsteps no. approach from the outside of the room. Uh, they enter through the door. We'll say they burst through and any barricades you put up uh, disappear. And they're all carrying like scrolls and learning materials for you've been sleeping in the classroom. Uh, they suddenly drop, uh, drop their scrolls and withdraw their weapons. A being of some description teleports from behind the desk and their expression turns of one to rage. Uh, they command those who have just entered the room to deal with their invite uninvited guests. Uh, can I get you all, team, uh, to roll an initiative for it's go time? Uh, we are fighting in this here classroom. So our rest got interrupted. Uh, no, so we would have said uh, that you would have had your... You would have been fully rested and then you would have woken up to take your watch kind of thing, so... There's no ill effect from the full rest as I restore my height in my sinking chair. Uh, yes, so if you could all roll for initiative, uh, that would be great. Uh, what we have yep. here are four uh, Ravenger Stabby Stabby students mm -hmm. and one Slaughter Lord who is teaching the Rav Ravagers Robin, how to be. Don't, Robin, Robin, <laughs> don't forget about your multi attack thing <laughs> that gives you extra armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they were being taught how to be extra stabby stabby uh, in uh, this. For Porthon has been gathering all different types of manners of creatures uh, to uh, him to wage his war on the on Taldore and Alexandria as a whole. And uh, as part of that, they're teaching them how great a guard Porthon is going to be, and indeed is at the moment, and uh, all that good stuff. But their main or their first assignment of the day is to end you all. So, 25 to 20, anybody in that range? I got 25. Nice. That's a natural 20 on the initiative roll matters. I mean, it's, it's really good. <laughs> okay. I've got, I got same a... C's, 25. Hey, hell yeah. Jesse? I, uh, I got 23. Okay, right, great. So, uh, 25, and then a 23 for Diana. Uh, okay, 20 to 15, anybody in that range? Yeah. 17. Awesome. Uh, okay. And, uh, 17 for Boris. Uh, 15 to 10, anybody in that range? Nice. Uh, then 
Oh, Heart Ryan got a seven. Uh, okay, <laughs> and then, uh, yes, yeah, so everybody else is done. So they will go. Uh, yeah, they will go then. And then Heart Ryan will bring up the order on uh, seven. Okay, here we go. Uh, it is go time. Avato, uh, my friend, you are first to go. What would you like to do? Oh, God. Uh, well. would like to cast Hunter's Mark on how far are Ravager 1 and 2? Apart? Uh, yeah. They are around about 10-15 feet apart. Alright. I will cast it on number 1 then. Okay, great. Um, so that's your bonus action? Yeah. And I will attack it awesome. with my bow. <laughs> If I have a clear shot at it. Uh, yeah, we'll say you do. So okay. uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 feet away. Cool. Uh, oh, 14 to hit. Uh, 14 on a Stabby Stabber. Uh, just misses, I'm afraid. Uh, but you so do so have one more shot. Hit the guy behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Not on a 14, my friend. <laughs> okay. uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Second. Well done. Nice. Uh, Eleven points of damage. Nice. Okay. Attack. Good stuff. And then I think that's you done, right? So the two arrows yeah. and then your bonus action. Would yeah. you like to move at all? Mm, can I hide as a move? Uh I don't that no. would be an action. So, yeah. yeah. Alright. No, I'm gonna stay put then. Okay. Great stuff. Uh cut the tabaxi monk. You're up, my friend. Can I reach the Slaughter Lord with 35 feet? One, two, three, four. You, Heck yes, you can. Yeah. So we'll get you right up to there. Nice. Uh, punch, punch. Go for it. 26 to hit. That absolutely hits. Well done. Uh, 13 points of damage. Nice. And another hit. Yeah. 15. 15 misses, I'm afraid. Cool. Um, then do I punch again or do I run away? I think I might just back off then. So I might use um my bonus action to spend a key point to sure uh, disengage. Um, and then maybe go kind of where I was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe um one square further to the right than i was before okay great so you you sorry just to for clarify so you use your 55 movement speed to get up to mm -hmm. them and then you're you're spending a key point to mm. uh disengage okay. and then to use your movement speed again yeah yeah so that won't give me the movement speed again i'll have to use my um feline agility that's fine then yeah okay great so we can say here um maybe one more to the right sure yeah it's a little bit further away from the Ravenger. Okay, right, right. Cool. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, so the uh, Slaughter Lord is going to use one of their legendary actions uh, to cast a spell. Uh, they are going to cast do, 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 a. They're going to use. Uh, Flame strike. Uh, can I get a dexterity saving throw from uh, Cut Sky and Ayana, please? Dex save. Dex save, please. So I know it's going to be like 172 for you. It's 28. Nice. Okay, you succeed. <laughs> that means I take no damage. Nice. Okay, 16 succeeds. Well done. 26. You all succeed. Uh, so you're taking half damage apart from Ayana, who's taking no damage, of... Uh, uh, 7 points of fire damage, which reduces to 4. And then... 9. And, and then another 10 points of radiant damage reduced to 5. Uh, so 9 points in total. 
for uh, those who succeeded. Uh, okay, great stuff. So that's their legendary action done for this round. Uh, next up is Ayana. Uh, Sky is squishy, so I would like to move in front of Sky. Sure. <laughs> and I'm going to attack with my rapier against okay. the rat badger. Sure, go for it. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits, well done. Uh, nine points of damage. Nice. I'm then going to use my bonus action to attack again. Sure. With two other fighting. Uh, 25 to hit. Uh, 25 hits, well done. Sweet. For another 12 points of damage. Nice. So, uh, with one hand, you thrust with your rapier, and then with your, uh, with your other hand, you come in with your dagger to score 12 extra points of damage. Awesome. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? No, but it's everything. Cool. Uh, okay, it is now the turn of uh, the Slaughter Lord. Uh, so, they are... Ba -ba -da -ba -da. So, they're going to use their movement speed, which is uh, 30 feet, to get in to... Uh, we'll do one, two, three... They're going to use their bonus action uh, as aggressive, which, as a bonus action, the Slaughter Lord can move up to its speed towards a hostile creature it can see. Uh, so it's going to move within range of cut here. I'm um, not hostile. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bunched it. <laughs> uh, it's going to try and use its uh, dual greatswords for a multi-attack. So uh, let's see how this goes. I run away. <laughs> uh, the first one is 25 to hit. Yeah. Okay. I'll just roll all the hits first and then we'll worry. Uh, we're 14 to hit? No. Oh, no, sorry. 24 to hit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, 27 to hit? Yeah. And then 28 to hit? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so, for the first, it's uh, 10 points of piercing damage plus 6 points of fire damage. Mm -hmm. Or the next one. Uh, seven, 13 points of piercing damage mm -hmm. plus 5 points of fire damage Four, six, uh, that's another 10 points of piercing damage and 2 points of fire damage and then oh, for the geez. last attack uh, seven, uh, so that's 14 points of piercing damage but only 3 points of fire damage for that last one oh lovely there you go. Uh, and then it's you saw its legendary actions for this round. So it's going to call it a day. He gives that look over to his students and says, that's how it's done. Uh, <laughs> it is now at the turn of the first uh, Ravager Ravager. Uh, they're going to use the movement speed to get up to old heart round here. And I uh, try and do the old stabby stabby thing. Uh, let me remind myself what heart Ryan's armor class is 19. Okay, let's see how we get on. Here with their short sword and do their stabbing frenzy. Uh, natural three, that's going to miss. So that's their turn done. Uh, <laughs> Ravage number two, uh, they are up. Uh, they are going to use movement speed of one, two, three. We'll say they get just within melee range of Ayana. Uh, da -da 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 -da. With a 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, so first one is four points of lashing damage. Okay. You just let me know when you're going to do your uh, uncanny dodge thing. Yeah, oh, I will. But four is nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, the next one is a 23 to hit. Third hits. Okay, that's six points of slashing damage. Yep. Uh, the next one is 17 to hit. Uh, that hits. Okay, and um, that's going to be nine points of slashing damage. I will uncanny dodge that one. Okay, so five points. Uh, the next one is, what is that? 23 points. Uh, 23 to hit, sorry. Oh, I was about to say what? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah but it's... Okay. Uh, that's another nine points of damage. Okay. There's some damage. Uh, next one, 17 to hit. Oh, that hits. Uh, okay, that's another nine points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, ooh, natural three, that might miss. Eight to hit. Yeah. Okay, fine. Right. Uh, and that's going to be their turn. Uh, the Mighty Boris. 
It's you. It's her, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to... Can I move up so that I'm in melee range of R3 and R1? Sure can. I basically just want to sort yeah. of shut, shut down their so movement. Using, around. using um, an agility that surprises most of the party, you manage to one arm lift yourself over the first row mm -hmm. of desks <laughs> to get yourself in position. Yeah, my minus one dexterity. Yeah, that's quite surprising. <laughs> um, and I'm. No, I'm gonna go for R one. Sure. Um. No, R three hasn't. R three hasn't been yet, has it? Uh, it hasn't, hasn't been, been, yet, been. Nor has it been hit. R one has been uh, has taken some damage. Okay, I'll go for R three then. Okay. Um, and hit them. Um. Nat one. <laughs> okay, so on a nat okay, one. Okay, okay, nat nat one, nat twenty. Okay, great. That, that, works, that <laughs> works. That works. That works. On my first, on my on my two attacks. Okay, I feel so, better. So for friends watching, uh, for context, so Boris has this ability where uh, they are uh, their their class allows them to roll their dice with advantage. Uh, so if, for example, they get a rubbish score like a natural one, and their first roll on the next roll, they can get something awesome like a nat twenty, which is a critical hit. So what we'll ask them to do is roll the damage dice, double it, and then add in add any modifiers. Yeah, except because I'm because of a, a thing I have, it's actually times four, not times two. I stand I corrected. <laughs> <laughs> so this is R three. Um, yes. I will double check, but yeah, it's a no, no, hundred percent. I I just uh, it's, yeah, I it's four dice. Yeah, yeah, four dice. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, well, so even critical error hit. Yep. Yeah. Um. <laughs> So, 14 plus 8 is 22. Nice. Okay. Yes, 22 damage. So, that's for your first attack. <laughs> for your next one? Yeah. And they are knocked down. They are indeed knocked down. Because oh, I'm now going to use my bonus action to knock them down. Sure. Um, And then um, my second... So this, friends, because the character is or the enemy is now prone, uh, they are lying on the ground, which makes them an easy target to hit with such things as like a greatsword, which Boris has. So that's what we're going to try and do. Yep. Um, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Well done. Yep. For another 18 damage. So as your greatsword swings down a second time, you cleave this creature in two. You see their entrails just fall apart like this. Uh, they are done so well done. Cool. And I'm I know like my turns over, but just thematically, I'm gonna so I, I slash them down and then I just rotate to R1 and <laughs> you're just standing eye. there with your, with your sword like this. <laughs> okay, great stuff. You can absolutely do that. Uh the one and only Sky, you are up next, my friend. Yes. R3 is dead, so you can absolutely see R4, R2, and R1. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, they got minus two to that. Uh, fine. So, first one, R1 fails. R2. <laughs> there you go. Uh, R2, they rolled a natural 19, so they just succeed, I think, with a minus two. And yeah, they're, they're, they're the class clown. What we have here. <laughs> and um, uh, according to the chat, Lucy's audios have gone. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I will try and fix that. Do, do, do. We can hear you, Sky, so don't worry. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I can hear you, but I, um, yeah. I just noticed that in the chat. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> <laughs> <It's the map. laughs> <laughs> so that's all working. Lucy, in. Oh, oh yes. my god, why, how, why would you say something like that? <laughs> oh, no. Uh okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh so into there. Uh okay, hopefully they can hear you now. Hello. Okay, we'll wait for chat to yes. do whether they can hear you or not. Uh-huh. In theory, I'll just I haven't some changed things. anything, but I have repasted your link back into the thing. So, uh, 
We will do. Yes, thumbs up all around. Okay, Yay. great stuff. Uh, I casted Bane, by the way. Yes. So uh, <laughs> Sky use their arcane powers to cast Bane, which is essentially going to uh, cast bad luck on uh, all of the Ravager Stabby Stabbers. Uh, we mm -hmm. have been rolling charisma saving throws uh, to fend off these attacks. And uh, Ravager number one, they failed. Uh, Ravager mm -hmm. number two succeeded. And as their double act with Ravager four, they <gasps> also succeeded with another no, from 19. What's the Ant and Deck? <laughs> they are the Ant and Deck of the Ravager world. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, R1 is cast with Bane, uh, and then do you roll the D4 to see what happens if you roll it? Rolled. Yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Is there anything else you'd like to do in your turn? Um, mm, I think I'm, I think I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, great stuff. And thank you, Chakang, uh, for letting us know about the um, technical difficulties, which no stream of mine is complete without. Uh, okay, Ravager number three. It is their turn, but they are dead. Uh, <laughs> after number four, uh, it is on them. Uh, they are going to try and use another stabbing frenzy attack. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, the first one, fifteen to hit. Uh, Ayana, sorry. Sorry, sorry. What? A uh, fifteen to hit on a melee attack on you. Oh no, that misses. Okay, great. Nice. Uh, they are going to use their bonus action to disengage, and they're going to try and run away. Uh, so they are going to go one, two, three, all the way up here. Uh, that is going to be their turn. It is now the turn of the one they call Harai. Uh, do, 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 do. So they are going to uh, bring out their Warhammer and try and strike down on the weakened R1. Uh, so let's roll a d20 plus nine to see if we can hit on the armor class. So first attack was a natural one, uh, so we'll roll the damage for that. <laughs> so uh, feeling feeling the energy and uh, and the adrenaline course through his veins of the fight, he swings up his mighty hammer, but absolutely whiffs and cracks himself in his own shin to cause. Oh no, that's a one d ten. Sorry. Uh, that's uh, well, that's not too bad. Seven points of damage to the entire set. So we will do that. Uh, the second attack, they tried to refocus their mind and do that again. Uh, but this is natural too, so they don't hit themselves, but I do think they miss. <laughs> that is going to be their turn. Uh, they're going to stay where they are for fear of having a attack of opportunity against them. Uh, top of the ramp, Avato. Let's see why they're still mm. students. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, top of the ramp, Avato. It is on you, my friend. Uh, Legendary reactions have been restored. Uh, what would you like to do? These uh, wooden platforms that surrounds the room. Yeah. How highly elevated are they? Um, around about five feet or so. All right. They're, they're just like uh, a couple of bookshelves underneath Walkways. them. Walkways. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to run up to Ravager number one. Sure. Make it. Uh, yeah, we can say you can make it. All right. And then I'm going to pull out my short swords. Mm-hmm. And stab him. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Just stab the bastard. Three times. <laughs> and <laughs> stab. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Uh, 24 to hit. I hit, well done, my friend. Uh, four, eight, plus uh, 11 points of damage. Nice. And then the second attack. Mm hmm. Uh, 28 to hit. Nice. For that plus that, uh, 17 points of damage. So as the first of your twin short swords go into the creature, you actually hold it there so it can't move away. And as the second one, as the second sword strikes, you slash down the, the chest of the creature and you see all of its guts start to uh, slough out as one. Well. For a word is they are done so well done my friend now for yeah. a bonus action you can instead of i attacking... still have one attack left you do yes can i make it up to number two uh so you started here you moved say 25 feet to get here yeah how many feet left do you have i have 35 feet in total uh sure we can say at a push you can get there all right 
So as a bonus action, I'll move my hunter's mark to him. Cool. And then I'll attack him once. Okay, yeah, because you have three attacks with your swords. Yeah. And then your bonus action on top exactly. of that, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Okay, good to know. Uh, so uh, roll for an attack, my friend. 22 to hit. Uh, 22 hits, well done. Plus uh, twelve points of damage. Nice. Okay. And Great that's round. The end of my turn. Awesome. Uh okay. Great stuff. A uh, cut. You are up, my friend. Okie dokie. He's a bit scary, but I'm just gonna try and stun him. So, um, nice. I think I don't have to spend the key point until you don't, no. I see if I hit or not. But let's try and hit. <laughs> Uh, 15. 15 misses, I'm afraid. We'll try again. Yep. 28. That definitely hits. Well done. Cool. So that hit will give him 12 points of damage. Okay, good to know. I will spend my key point for stunning strike. So that's a constitution save and throw. Okay, what's the DC? 16. Uh... They have a con plus five. I rolled an oh. 11, so that just succeeds, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just don't want to be next to him again. I think I'm going to use another um, key point. Sure. Um, to disengage and just use my whole 50 movement just to move down. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We can get you there. Nice. Yeah. That'll do. Okay, great stuff. Uh, cool. Ayana, you are my friend. Great. I am going to take another whack with my rapier, and now that Pavato has moved up, R2 is now distracted, doesn't see this hit coming. Yeah. Fuck, it's probably going to miss. 13. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was it? 13 to hit. 13 misses, I'm afraid. Uh, bonus action, two weapon fighting. Okay. <laughs> go at him with my dagger. That's a 28 to hit. That hits. Sweet. Uh, nine points of damage. Okay, great stuff. Because uh, I don't think dun. I get to add my sneak attack to that. No, I think, yeah, I think that only applies to your first attack, right? In terms of uh, doing the thing. No, uh, it actually just says once per turn. Okay, but, hmm. Okay. I, I wonder if you have I to... don't know when you have to declare it. Yeah, we have to nominate. I know you, to yeah, say... you can use it on any, but you might have I, to. No, but because I didn't know I, I could remember. use it on any, I would have, I mean, I would would have done it. Yeah. Okay, right. Because it, it just says once per turn, you can deal an extra. I don't think you have to say it before. Because it's only if you. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good to know. Is Are you no? going to allow me to do the sneak attack? Uh, next time, we'll, we'll allow it. I think now now we've just established unless sure, go for it. Why not? I think yeah, I think you can. Then go for it. Uh an extra twenty six points of damage. Okay, that's more than <laughs> enough to take this one out then. <laughs> uh great stuff. Oh it's dead. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> you only I was, have I was to the sneak the sneak it's... attack after the hit is determined. So yeah. whether once you only have to declare sneak attack once you know whether it hits. Okay, or not. that's yeah. great then. So, so then you're not but wasting. But you can slowly do it once per turn. You can slowly do it once per yeah. turn. Okay, so, great yeah. Stuff. But yeah. yeah, we're all learning. So that was fine. We're all learning. Great stuff. Uh, okay, so they are also down as well. Uh, they're down. They are still up. Is there anything else you'd like to do in your turn, Ayana? Uh, no. I'm good where I am. Awesome. Uh, cool. It is the slaughter log turn. Uh, with cut having bravely run away. Uh, <laughs> they are going to use their movement speed uh, to get up to Sky. Uh, they are. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, right. They are going to use their action, their main action, to do the multi attack with their dual great swords. Okay. Do, uh, does my does my shield thing kick in? That happens sometimes. Uh yeah. How does that? You can. As a react, I think. Do you mean as a reaction? You can cast shield. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So if, if, if you've got, if you've got that. a spell, yeah. If you've got a spell slot, then yeah, you can do that. Once okay. you know if he's going to hit you, in well, case he misses. I think he looks like he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first attack is going to be a twenty-two to hit. 
Oh, well, 100%. Yeah, I'm hitting that shield. Okay, so does that increase your armor class by two, I think? Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, if that's all it does, then that's still not going to help me. Yeah, because I'm on 15. Okay. Double checking it. Until the start of your next turn, you have plus five to AC. No, oh, plus five. five. Okay. Oh, still 20, though. I mean, but he has multi attack, so it'll kick yeah. in oh, for all. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. That so then that, that now in effect for the rest of this turn in terms okay, of. Okay, sweet. Right. So I'll just roll all the attacks first and then we'll go cool. through. So Thank you. First one hits. Your different kinds are welcome. The next one is a 14, which misses. Sweet. Oh, this was such a good idea. Uh, the next one is a 28. Okay, ouch. Uh, and then the last one is a 13, which misses. So only two okay. of these are uh, hit. Uh, I'll accept. Uh, You'll accept that good to know. <laughs> I'll allow it. Uh, okay, right. So two. Uh, first one. A, a, uh, so 10 points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Plus one point of fire damage. And then the other one is ooh, what's that? 18 points of piercing damage. Okay. And six points of fire damage. Mm -hmm. Uh so that is going to be their turn, as they are then going to use their... Ooh, what are they going to do? They are going to use their legendary action to cast another spell. For me! Well, it might be you and a few others. Let's see. Uh, yeah, because they can do this three times a day. Are they three times are a day. going to do a uh, another flame strike? So could I get deck saving throws from Sky, Ayana, and Pavato, please? Yes. Uh, 19. Okay. 16. 25. Nice. So you all succeed. You're taking half of this damage, although I only taking zero. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. So, uh, okay. Eight, 10, uh, 14. So you're taking seven fire damage for those uh, taking damage this round. And then one, three, eight, uh, nine. And then you're taking five points of radiant damage. So 10 points in total. Uh, which wasn't so bad. No. Uh, and then the. Yeah, they, they use movement speed. Okay, that's going to be their turn. R1 is dead, R2 is dead. Thank down. God I used my shield. Yeah, great <laughs> stuff. Uh, Boris, you are up, my friend. Cool. Um, will 40 feet of movement speed get me up to the Slaughter Lord? Yes. Yep, yeah, cool. I'm going to do that um, um, and attack recklessly. Go for it. Um, so, friends, uh, when Boris attacks oh. recklessly, it means that not only do they get probably quadruple advantage on the attack at these rates. But when the Slaughter Lord comes to attack them, they have advantage on Boris. Uh, 21 to hit. That absolutely hits. Well done. Um, for 17 damage. Nice. And assuming they're not ridiculously gigantic, I'm going to... No, they're, they're regular... They're knock regular them down. Size. Yeah, I assume they were. Yeah, yeah knock them down. Okay, so they are now prone. Um, That's handy. Um, and then 21 to hit. That also hits. Well done. For another 13. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? But yeah, so um, no, that's everything. But yeah, so ev everything that attacks me will have advantage now. But yeah, there's only two things. I, yeah. There's like two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah. Sure. So. Uh, okay, great stuff. So that is Boris Sky, my friend. You are. Um, I'm going to have to heal myself, I think, and get away, because I'm not looking good. Uh, okay, so what you may want to do then, mm -hmm. hmm. so if you move away, you're going to oh. get an attack of opportunity on the Slaughter Lord, okay. because you Unless may want to use... disengage as an action, but you won't be able to use a potion this That's time. That's what I was going to allude to. Okay, let's do that then, because the Slaughter Lord's probably going to hit me next time if I don't get out of dodge, and I've got 19 points of health. <laughs> Okay, so Sorry. are you Don't taking the fight. are you taking the potion and then trying to run no, away? No, I'll disengage. Dodge? I'll disengage. Okay, fine. And which direction would you like to flee in? Uh, can I stand sort of more between Pavato and Heartrind, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, so one, two, we can say we get you to there. Yeah, please. 
Ah, uh, okay. So, and then can I give some inspiration to Boris? Uh, Wait, hang yeah. on, actually, let me check the let me check the order. Yeah, let's let's check if oh. you, you actually don't... I'll give it to Heart Ryan then. Uh sure. So the attack of opportunity is a twenty. No, she no, she disengaged oh, as her action. Yeah, yeah. I did disengage, sorry. There is no, no, no that's fine. attack of opportunity. Uh okay, great stuff. So you. you're inspiring Heart Ryan? Yes, because they're next up. Uh after... they are, yes. Yes. Uh, cool. Cool. How are you inspiring them? Get the Slaughter Lord! Kill him! It's like we're in Bloodborne or something. <laughs> there you so go. Imagine it's, a, imagine it's a boss. You've got this. Uh, okay, great. Uh, da, 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 da. So, it is the turn of the Ravager Stabber Stabber. The one up here. Uh, they're going to use their 30 feet of movement speed to go one, two, three. Uh, and try a little stabby stabby stab. Uh, the first attack is a natural one. So they are going to drop their sword and impale themselves and cause uh, five points of slashing damage to themselves. So we're going to mark that, and that is going to be their turn. Uh, Heartrind, the uh, newly inspired Heartrind, uh, they are going to uh, use their movement speed. We'll say one, two, we'll say for argument's sake, they get up to there, and they can attack. Uh, with advantage. Oh, no, sorry, with inspiration, should they need to. Uh, I mean, and at advantage, because it's prone. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, 19 for the first. I'm just going to roll again to make sure it's not a crit, uh, which it isn't. So 27 to hit uh, for their first attack. And they are going to cause... Uh, I need my one in D10. Uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage as the first strike it's uh and then for the next one which is also an advantage because i haven't got up yet uh the first one is a 13 to hit which is going to miss but they get to roll again uh that's good with a regular 20 to hit uh so let's roll that uh that is going to be 13 points of bludgeoning damage as well uh cool so they haven't used advantage yet, uh, their inspiration yet but uh, they still did a heck of a lot of damage. Uh, good for them. And they're going to stay where they are, having used all their movement speed, and in true Haran scent is gassed at the moment. Uh, <laughs> to do top of the round, Pavato, it is on you, my friend. Uh, I'm going to run up to num four. Yep. And I'm going to attack him with my short swords. Cool. Uh, 23 to hit. That absolutely hits. Well done. Or uh, 10 points of damage. Which 10 points is just enough to slay nice. the Ravager Stabby Stabby. Oh, well shit. done. What the fuck do I do now? Uh, <laughs> can I reach the Slaughter Lord? Uh, so you'll need like 10, 20, 30, 35 no, feet. I can't. Mm. But I say can what you, you could do. With an arrow? Yeah, you can move Yeah, can to I switch to. Yeah. Sure. So you leap on top of the desk and you run across to the edge uh, to get a clear shot. Uh, Hunter's Mark is still right. on the dead R2 if you wanted to move that. Yeah, then as a bonus action, I'm going to move it to him. Sure. Uh, a ranged attack wouldn't necessarily have advantage. It's prone. a disadvantage because he's prone. Yes. But you still might be able to hit him. So. All right. Well, a natural 20 with 32... Okay. Well, 31 to hit, because that was the lowest roll. Okay, 31 was the lowest <laughs> roll. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a troubled life of Arto Leeds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that definitely hits, my uh, friend. Uh, go ahead and roll some damage on top of that. So it won't be the crit then. Will it? No. Uh, eight points of damage. Nice. Okay, well done. Uh, cool. So I'll make a note of their new health. Is there anything else you'd like to do, my friend? Uh, no. Oh, I'm good. Uh, cut the Tabaxian monk. You are up, my friend. Okay. 
think, well, we're going to have to um, go into the right of the Slaughter Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Easily done. Try. Punch him again. <laughs> good old punch. <laughs> good old punch. Um... <laughs> um, it's 11, but it was a natural one, so. Okay. So, uh, on natural... You've got advantage. I don't know if that changes things. <laughs> yeah. To be oh. fair, you do get advantage, so feel free okay. to roll that again. You don't have to punch yourself. It's not great, but it's not a one. So 15. <laughs> 15. Okay, it still misses, but what you're doing is you're not causing damage to yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not punching myself. Uh, okay, so that's the first try. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Um... Oh, uh, 18 for my second attempt. 18 hits. Well done. <sighs> Rubbish. Uh, six points okay. of damage. Awesome. Um... I don't know why it's worth trying to stun. Is he next? Uh, they're already Nobody's prone, so... Soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to uh, you. I think stunning makes it them like they can't literally do anything. Yeah. I'll I'll use another key point. I know he's got plus five, but let's go for it. Sure. So, um, so it's a con save and throw DC 16. Uh, natural 12 plus five, 17. <laughs> Dime. Okay, and it's then I'll just use though. my bonus action just to punch him one more time. Sure, go for it. <laughs> uh, 25 to hit. 25 hits, well done. Uh, shoot, uh, six points of damage. Nice. Hey, great stuff. Ayana, you are up, my friend. All right, I'm going to move around to the Slaughter Lord. Sure. We'll put you above just yeah. yeah put me like above him just in case bravado needs still needs to come in <laughs> later on yeah, yeah. uh you will be entitled for sneak attack damage or they're surrounded i will and i mean it doesn't matter because i already have advantage but i would have advantage because now he's flanked yeah <laughs> um, let's see uh 17 to hit 17 just hits well done nice Sweet. so that's 12 finish him and then <laughs> Uh, 32 points, so 44 points of damage. Nice, dead. Please, Damn. please. Uh, that's not sudden, but uh, uh, I would then like to attack again with my dagger for my <laughs> sure. bonus action. Let's go, right eye for a 29 to hit. 29 hits, well done. Oh, hang on, I. Yeah, actually, yeah. both would have been an advantage because, hang on, let me... Yeah, make sure there's no crits in there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, no no crits. Okay. <laughs> uh, for another six points of damage. Okay, good to know. Uh, cool. Uh, we'll make a note of that. Uh, is that the end of your turn, my friend? It is indeed awesome. the end of my turn. Uh, okay, so the Slaughter Lord is going to use half the movement speed to get up. Uh, they are, uh, okay, they are going to turn to you, Iona, and try and use mm -hmm. their multi-attack action. Sure. Uh, so let's roll for all the attacks and then we'll worry about the valley. So the first one, a 27 to hit. Mm, that hits. Uh, the next is a 16 to hit. Just hits. Oof. Uh, the next is a 17 to hit. That hits. And then the next is a 20, or the last is a 21 to hit. Yeah, uh, that hits. So I'll let you decide on which ones you want to use and can dodge on, if any of them. Uh, uh, it just depends on what he hits me with. <laughs> sure, no, 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 that, that makes sense. Uh, cool. uh, so. Uh, so 14 points of piercing damage for the first attack, plus another 4 points of fire damage. So that's 18. Yep. I will uncanny dodge the first one okay, already. Okay, so that's down to nine. Yeah. Uh, the next one is... So 13 points of piercing damage and six points of fire damage. Uh, the one after that... Three, five, six... Uh, 13 points of piercing damage and five points of fire damage. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least... <laughs> uh, that's 15 points of piercing damage 
but only one point of fire damage. Oh, lucky me. There you go. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, so that's going to be their main attack. Uh, they are then going to, as I think, <laughs> my chair, uh, they're going to turn around and use their leg free action to cast the last of their uh, flame strikes, which I can do from this stage. Uh, so I'll roll a, uh, a dex save for heart rank. Can I have a dex saving throw for cut and bore? Uh, plus, oh, plus four. Okay. Oh, that's not going to cut. Uh, cool. Okay. <laughs> I oh, stole right. that first <laughs> roll. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but Heart Ranch failed his uh, deck save. Cool. Well, I got 26, but I realized now I got evasion. So sure. if it's a deck save and throw, if I succeeded, I don't no take damage. any damage. Mm. Okay, so no damage for you, my friend. Which uh. I've had since seven le seventh level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joys of d, &D. <laughs> uh, Cool. So, uh, Heart Rise taking full damage, and Boris, are you taking full damage, or...? Okay, fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so uh, 13 points of fire damage, uh, that's full, and then you can half that, uh, and nine, uh, and then 10 points of radiant damage. Oh no, apparently we've lost Katie's audio now. Oh no. Uh, no, no. We can hear you, <laughs> chat card. Yeah. Uh, fine, hang on. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, hopefully you should be back now with audio. I have no idea why that's happening. Uh, the joys of OBS. Uh, my, my Chrome crashed a few minutes ago, so I re had to rejoin. So I don't know if that. Okay, either way. Was uh, what we should be fine now. We but have yeah, the, the yeah. thumbs up from Lollifox12. Uh, so it was 10 points of radiant damage. So that's to be half to five. And then I remember what the first number was uh, in total. So you would have. I took so it's 13. Okay, 13. Great. Yeah. So uh, yeah, 23 seven. points in total, uh, applying to all right. Uh, so for context, they are 102 health points uh, of, at the max of one, three, two. Uh, okay, that is going to be their turn. Boris, you're up next, my friend. Cool. Let's stab. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to reckless the attack again. Yes. Um, okay, I said that. I, I Yeah, I got in that 20, so. Um, <laughs> yeah. So four times cool. uh, the damage yeah. dice plus your modifiers. <laughs> it's got to be it. Um, that's done something weird. What's that on? Just roll it again. Okay. Um, six plus nine is fifteen. Times two is thirty. So thirty-eight. Thirty-eight damage. Boris, how do you want to do this? Second killing blow of the of in succession. Uh, oh, I'm so bad with puns. I'm gonna I'm gonna slash his head off, and then I'm gonna say something about like th this is lesson learned or something. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In, 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 insert, insert yeah. Insert better pun. <laughs> but yeah. Great stuff. Uh, okay, team. Uh, so that's going to net you each 6,800 XP. Wow. Uh, I Who knew a long rest you. would equal this? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, I'm going to add that to uh, Art Ryan's experience. So once again, that's 6,800 XP, as I think again in my chair. No. Uh, all right, team. So that is where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, we'll be going for almost 90 minutes. So I think it's a good uh stopping point uh thank you so much for being part of mm -hmm. uh this journey uh as it's coming towards its climax uh i know it's the highlight of my week to get together with uh, my very best friends and Aww. roll some dice mm -hmm. uh so uh ethnic squares as i think once more uh let's say goodbye and then we'll see each other mm -hmm. uh same time uh sundays 3 p.m gmt obviously it's the holiday season coming up so if we do take a break uh 
for things like Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever anybody's celebrating, then we will do that. But in the meantime, I think it's quest. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.